Okay, now let's consider the defining a function and calling the function. A function in Python is very similar to uh, functions in mathematics. So function takes parameters, do some work, and returns. That's what function can do. For example, if you have a temperature in Fahrenheit, and then you want to convert it to Celsius, then you need a function. The beauty of uh, defining function in programming language is that once defined, many times that we can use. If that ex that uh, uh, the statement body is embedded in a uh, one flow of programming, then uh, every time when you call, you have to rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. Why should we do that, right? We don't need to. We define a function first, one time, and then we can call it many times. So let's take a look. Um, uh, think about the, uh, the temperature conversion. So uh, if you look at uh, the slide from sizeq.org slash 505, then this is, the formula. Okay, so let's call this formula. Um, let's try to do this uh, way. Let's say uh, Celsius temperature is um, maybe one, one degree, like uh, right now in New York. And we want to convert it to uh, Fahrenheit. Then Fahrenheit temperature is <clears throat> is uh, Celsius temperature uh, minus uh, thirty two, which should be multiplied by five and divided by nine. And then you can do print bar temperature, okay? And then you can save this um, in a uh, proper location. Okay. And then we can say in class, I see this uh, function happen. And let's so one, one degree in Celsius is negative 70, 17, okay? If, you are, if I have uh, another many times, then, uh, then, then we have to rewrite, rewrite, rewrite this. For example, uh, I want to do this uh, for the temperature. What about uh, temperature degree uh, 15 and 31 and negative one? All right, see what happens. So you run it and I have negative 17, negative nine and zero. I think that is, we have to change this to two, two, and three. We have to do a uh, uh, different uh, variable, otherwise we will have that problem. Let's save this.
I think this is uh, that formula is for this is the opposite, I guess, right? This is a Fahrenheit. So what is it the other way for Fahrenheit to uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit? I think that is uh, I think nine over five and plus thirty two, maybe this way, right? I think that is that is the formula. The other one is uh is apogee. Yeah, when I look at this. Okay, so that's this is one. This is uh, this is <coughs> two, this is three, and this is four. Right. Oh, this makes sense. So Celsius, uh, uh, one degree means thirty-three. Okay, Celsius. Uh, uh, 15 that is a 59 in Fahrenheit and so on and so forth right so we have to do this multiple times so instead of this if we define a function the function can be defined by reserved word uh, def and then we can do a Fahrenheit to Celsius which takes uh, temperature And then we can calculate um, Celsius. Celsius can be, I think that is uh, the way that we say uh, 32 and multiplied by 5 over 9 and then return cell T. That is the function for um, the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius. What if we do opposite way uh, from Celsius to Fahrenheit? Same thing, temperature, given temperature, that should be uh, the Celsius temperature. Then we need to uh, convert to Fahrenheit by having uh, temperature plus 32, no, temperature multiplied by 9 over 2 plus 32 and then we can return Fahrenheit temperature and then we can call for example Fahrenheit to you know, Celsius to Fahrenheit uh, like we did the minus one or plus one right Celsius plus one and then we can do print Celsius one and then we can do this multiple times as we did before Fahrenheit uh, 15 and 31 and negative one right save this see what happened then those temperature are given right so similarly if we make this for example, from C to F to F to C, okay? And then I'm going to copy this to each of this, save this, and then I'm going to make here print uh, dash for 15 times. Save and this. This first one is for the same temperature, 115, 31, negative one. Uh, I would say that is, um, this is uh, uh, Celsius. So what is uh, the Fahrenheit corresponding is this. What if this is Fahrenheit? What is the temperature in Celsius? That's this, okay?
again, um, because this is um, too, if you want to cut a little bit of those, then you can do, for example, it's not really cut. If you do round off, uh, then, then you can make in this way. Uh, so 0 0.2 format and do this, okay? Save this and then we have uh, point. Uh, pointed to the, right. So in this way, pointed to have means I want to have uh, uh, two places of uh, decimal points. That's what we need to do. Um, so as you can see here. Uh, this is a parameter temp uh, taken by the function and returns uh, this, right? Similarly, in another function. So we have here arguments. Uh, this is a value. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is a value. Number 1, 15, and 31. So value, this function is called by uh, sending value 1, 15, 31, negative 1, things like that. Is there any way that you can do also uh, send uh, not just a single value, but what about dictionary? That is in, um, in our assignments, right? So for example, Major is a dictionary that is uh, defined in this way. Uh, for example, cyber chair is John, uh, CS chair is Sam, math chair is uh, Ben, so on and so forth. Okay. So can we send this to a function so that function can return um, let's say only uh, the key. Okay, let's do that first. So uh, define display Dictionary. Dictionary, and it'll receive dictionary, and we can make, for example, for each in listed diction, which is a parameter. Uh, diction from diction that we can get keys and I want to uh, convert it to a list and uh, for each element in the list which means for each element in the key list which means for each element in the key list of uh, the given dictionary. All right, and then we can say print each. Print dictionary 
and then I want to send what? Major. Save it. The list of given over this simple class. Oh, I need to have it here. Color. Then this guy gives me uh, the keys only. Can I get the values for the corresponding keys? So that um, if I have here. key all right so given key we can compare for example if a given key is the same as each then we can display value diction and then key then it'll gives us uh, the value all right so to this major let's say i want to send uh, cyber so what is uh, the, the department chair of uh, cyber by sending this dictionary uh, display dictionary there is the function name this function takes uh, two parameters dictionary and the key of uh, whatever you want to search okay then it'll return the value of that the way that you can uh, get the value to a given key then you can use this uh, square bracket uh, notation okay and hit enter print there is no print print So it'll return John, right? Okay. I'm not sure why it says not, but anyway, this is it, right? So, for example, if you need the CS in another way, then it'll return Sam. Okay. If you have a band, uh, map, then it'll return Sam. All right. Um, even further, in your homework assignments, if you have, for example, very nicely we have a uh, dictionary if it's a cyber then uh, it has the, in the value we have uh, a list so first element in the in the list we have um, the chairperson and second element is uh, rank for example okay so let's see what happens all right so if we say math, then it gives us ban and 15. If we have a cyber, okay, then then it'll give it us, it'll give us uh, John and one. So if you if you want to receive a uh, uh, chair, then you need to say uh, zero and if we want to get uh, the rank, then you need to have this. And then you can say is ranked at whatever that is. Okay. So it'll return this. John is ranked at one. No, I'm not going to say that, but uh, I'm going to say cyber. Okay. So you can say, no, not even that. Uh, we're going to do, all right. Where is this? 
with theta, right? So then we can say psi is ranked at one. All right. So it can send not only the value like this, but also an object of a dictionary of a list. I hope this helped you. Thanks so much.